my vibrant people how are you today i hope you are having a beautiful beautiful day because here the sun is out finally it was raining all morning but now the sun is out so let's talk about something which is never never or rarely discussed how many times in a year do you change your pants <music> yes did you answer that most of the times we keep going on and on and on and on and on with the same underwear the same knickers the same boxer shorts we never change them why because we know that the sun doesn't shine there and because we know that nobody's gonna look at this unless i've got a date or if i'm married it's all right my partner can see this and they've been seeing it for a long time we rarely do shopping for underpants why have you ever decided have you ever thought about why don't we change our pants our pants they harbor a lot of bacteria a pant must be changed together like the way when you are changing your toothbrush that's how you should be changing your underpants three times in a year every quarter change your pants change your knickers change your boxer shorts okay for hygiene purposes because there is no fresh air down there nothing the sun doesn't shine down down there so when you are getting the underwear you just wash them maybe you wash them in the washing machine you wash them and then you dry them where there's no sunshine and then again you don't even iron them and then you wear them that is a recipe for infection okay so after you listen to this video please go to your drawers open your drawers and just do your knickers like this and find out to say mm, when did i ever change it i'll show this is a new knickers anyway <coughs> don't mind it's a very very new knickers so in the middle here <laughs> don't ask me why i'm asking i'm holding it like that in the middle here that's where bacteria harbors right this is a cotton area so when you are wearing it doesn't matter whether you are wearing a whether you are wearing a panty liner or anything but in between here that's where there's a lot of bacteria so when we are washing it in the bath while we are having a shower we don't even pay attention <coughs> excuse me we don't even pay particular attention because it's just quick 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 and throw it away and that's it and then again tomorrow you go back to read so it's finishing and finishing and wear and tear but you don't even mind changing it because nobody sees it but before you know it you'll be having itchiness scratching thrash and everything and you'll be drinking all the antibiotics but you shall not get better because you have not changed your underwear so starting from tonight after watching this video please step up go in your drawers change your check, check your knickers the ones which are a little bit newer keep them the other ones just chuck them in the bin fold them go and burn them okay because those are the sources of infection can you imagine every time either men or women we all have that discharge so we are discharging every single day because the body is eliminating what it doesn't need and then it's falling there on the knickers and then you are washing it and then tomorrow you're wearing it again doesn't make sense okay so please tap into that try to change your knickers every three months and thank me later okay thank you very much most of the times when we are buying new knickers in is when we know that we are going for a date and we know that somebody's gonna strip you naked and they'll have to check your knickers and check if they are matching with the bras especially us women and then if they are different then you're going to feel like oh i wasn't very happy that's the only time you're going so if you know you've not had a date in the next two years or the past two years it means you have not changed your panties it's not right it's not good so let's just do something and change your knickers for hygiene purposes okay it's very healthy for your own good and for all those passers by in case you are knocked over or you pass out because you've been working too much you pass out and then people say can you loosen up all the clothes and then they get to your knickers the elastic is dangling everywhere 
and then they have to tie it over here and then they'll be like that's not like her she doesn't look like that okay so let's just match the way you are looking on your face the way your hair is looking it must tally with the underwear and ladies you must get into the habit of wearing the matching bra and the matching panties nothing gives you confidence like that women try it it's it's a little bit costly but try to be buying it every month buy a knickers that is matching with a bra and then wear it even when you're going to work even when you're going to see relatives or when you're going to church trust me just the confidence knowing that you're much you're wearing matching things inside makes you feel like i gotta strip anytime oh masa iga budura a bra here de uno go hanya buriva mpundu Mwaha, mutani kusami, ika budura kari pinki, i bra ili yero. What's that? Try to match those things together because that's what's going to give you the feminine energy. They are going to give you that feminine touch to say, this is me, this is how I feel. I'm confident from inside up to the outside. Okay? That's what I wanted to talk today about the bra and the knickers and mostly how many times you change your knickers in a year. I guess most of you are standing guilty to say, whoops. I've not changed my knickers in the past five years. I can't blame you because there's a lot of them. Most of them have to really, really change the knickers when these things have started like, like these uh, cottons. You see, like the cottons have completely started coming out like this. That's when you say, okay, let me change my knickers. Don't wait for that. Three months, whether it's new or it's not, just chuck it because you've worn it. It's, save, it's done you the service. Get another one. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to my channel because we're going to talk about more and more and more videos coming up. Okay? Thank you very much. So tomorrow, watch out for my video, which is um, how long must a man wait before having a second round during sex? Yes. Tomorrow. It's coming up. Yes. Thank you. Mwah! Love you.